Hey guys, um, this is Mike. I just wanted to make a short video that sort of helped you navigate the parameter listing in the uh, Automation Direct GS1 variable frequency drive, which is part of your final project. Um, it's not very difficult, but I thought I might give you a heads up so it could save you some time and a little bit of a learning curve uh, in the lab. Uh, particularly when you're trying to do your final project. So um, basically the parameters, the uh, inputs that you'll be uh, uh, putting into the drive, the, the information you'll be putting into the drive, they are in uh, groups. There's a parameter group number one, parameter group number two, three, and four, things like that. And each one of those groups has parameters um, within the group. Okay, So parameter um, group number one might have four or five parameters in there. Okay, and then uh, parameter group number two might have six or seven in it. Okay, so what I thought I would do is show you how to navigate through this. Really, not hard at all. But um, the first thing you want to do when you when you power up the drive, you'll be in the display mode. That gives you the status of the drive. We've talked about that before in the lecture. Gives you the status of the drive and things like that. What we were, what we're interest, interested in is going into program mode. So the thing you do is hit the program enter button right here. Okay and a zero immediately pops up. That's parameter group zero, okay? Now, if we wanted parameter group number one, we just go to parameter group number one or parameter group number two. Um, I'm gonna pick parameter group number three just because, okay? So once I've, I've got my group heading uh, up, up there on the left-hand side, I wanna hit program again, and that brings up the double-digit parameter number, okay? This is program group number three parameter zero zero and if I want to see what that value is in that parameter I hit program again and that gives me uh, the value of two that tells me that parameter uh, group number uh, uh, three um, parameter zero zero is set for two now if I need to change that I can use my up and down arrow keys or something like that and then once I've made my change I hit enter it should say end, and then it will skip to the next parameter. So you got to be careful that uh, you don't change a parameter you, you don't want to uh, change. Now, if you want to get back out of that, just hit display, which is the top button next to the arrows. Okay, That will take us back to that single number, and now we can change group uh, or parameter group numbers. and go back to parameter group number uh, one, Okay, and again hit enter. And say I want to go parameter uh, group number one, I want to go parameter number three in that group, okay? Hit uh, the, the up arrow till I got to three. I hit enter. It gives me the value of zero, so whatever that parameter is, it's set to zero. If I want to change that to a one or a two, I simply hit the uh, program number um, and I can change that value, okay? So uh, anyway, that's just kind of a, a um, quick, uh, you know, tutorial on how to navigate these uh, groups and then the parameters within the groups. Really kind of easy. And then finally, uh, if you want to just hit display uh, and you can find all the displays that are available to you. Um, <clears throat> but all this is, is in the manual and we'll go over it after you've wired everything up. But you're given the instructions in the uh, procedure manual. So anyway, that's a, that's a tutorial. Thought it might help some. And uh, if you have any questions, just give me a shout in the lab. Thank you.